Look who has returned today, everybody. Welcome back to the Marquise Walker Career Mode Series. The series is back after a couple months away following the second consecutive Super Bowl loss in Walker's career. We lost to the Buffalo Bills the last time we saw Walker take the field. Still, he's in search of that first Super Bowl ring, but we'll have to see how this team handles the offseason going into his next year. Walker has 116 touchdown passes in his Giants career. He's also been very good on the ground with 15 more rushing touchdowns, 1,500 yards. We've seen Walker evolve from an undrafted quarterback at 70 overall to now a 93 overall all-pro caliber quarterback. But still, that Super Bowl ring hasn't arrived. We've seen four seasons now of Marquise Walker, and I know many of you were wondering, is this series over? It is not. The Anton Greenberry series is over, and you're getting the return of Walker on the same day as Anton Greenberry's little series comes to an end. So today we're going through the offseason and week one with Walker, and we shall see what this Giants team looks like. Now, I haven't thought much about this series in the last couple months, but I seem to remember us having some potential free agent worries about this stage. Could we keep our team together? Damon Harrison has retired. He's on defense, of course. Not sure if there's anybody else that I was thinking of as far as retirements go. It was more so just can we possibly keep all these great playmakers together? Well, let's get to stage one. If there were going to be some major changes, they'd be here in free agency. So let's check and see what's happened. We signed Mario Edwards to a two-year contract, a huge deal to left tackle Haynes Horde. Grady Jarrett will replace Damon Harrison. We have a new fullback. That was always fun. I remember that, of course, getting 17 different fullbacks to play on our team last season. We signed MJ Stewart. A lot of these are for defense, although I'm a fan of getting a left tackle on this team that's really good. Still have Beckham, still have Collins, Barkley, Shepard, Ingram, so I think that the core is still intact. We have Marquise Walker and all the playmakers that have made this a dynamic offense still. I really can't remember if Horde was already on the team. I... Should have checked beforehand to see what the roster looked like, but I just can't recall exactly. But let's get to the draft and see what we decide to do. I think that the offense is solid, so I don't think we have to go get a playmaker. Maybe offensive line help would be nice and just strengthen the defense. Alright, so we'll skip to our pick. First round and 31st overall. The Giants go left tackle. Addison Metropolis. Now it's a tight end from Villanova, Barry Chisholm. Running back, Glenn Harrington. Three straight picks on the offense for the Giants. Now we go into the fourth round and it's a backup quarterback. All right, defense is wondering if you're going to help them out at all. And there is a defensive tackle. So not the most exciting draft. I don't think that we'll see many starters here. A second tight end is always intriguing. Looks like speed is only a 75, so definitely not a player who will take Evan Ingram's spot or anything. And a tackle here. Normal development. Pretty good ratings too. I wonder if he'll start at a different position. You like to get a day one contributor, at least I do in the first round with your first selection. We have Alan Torber on the team. We have Haynes Horde and DJ Humphreys. So we just drafted either our third or fourth best tackle on the roster now in the first round. Not so sure that was the right move for us. We have a new second tight end as Phelps gets demoted, it appears. Beckham's 30, so regression is going to happen. Shepard's 29, but it looks like our window is still wide open this year. Can we capitalize this time? I wish the goal here could be for the Super Bowl, but it's not an option. Marquise Walker will open the year against the Arizona Cardinals. Here's one look at the depth chart before we get underway. 
We're pretty thin at running back outside of Saquon Barkley. Le'Veon Mullins, though, can bring some power. We have Glenn Harrington now, so we might see him at some point. 87 speed. He has decent ball carrier vision. Kind of a power back just like Mullins with the high break tackle and trucking. Not very elusive. At receiver, we all know Odell Beckham and Sterling Shepard. And then there's Spencer Gresham with Ramon Nimmo and Rashard Sertain. Overall, just gotta play better in the Super Bowl when we get there. We've made it twice in a row. Can we make it back again? Offensive line looks mostly solid. We need some of those young tackles to develop a bit. As far as defense goes, I like the addition of Grady Jarrett. Helps shore up the defensive line. Everything here is looking pretty good. So hopefully, this season we can actually get it done but walker's back many of you weren't sure if he would return but here he is it's time to play and we'll see how the return to action goes for marquise walker in this series today it's obviously been a couple months now and i really haven't been playing madden traditionally like i have the cardinal series and that's not a game that I play. I watch and manage the roster and everything. And I haven't really played a lot of Madden as far as controlling quarterbacks go lately, but I don't think it'll be too bad. I've been playing NCAA and had the Anton Greenberry series going on. So here we go, back in action with Marquise Walker, trying to put that Super Bowl loss behind us. We'll start the day. Three receivers in the game, Barkley to the right of Marquise Walker, and we start with play action, rolling away, get it downfield for Odell Beckham, that's how you return, he breaks a tackle, and falls ahead in Cardinal territory with a 35 yard catch and run. Hoping to return in a big way, we are down by 7 to open as Barkley bounces ahead off tacklers for 6 yards. Now we go back to the air, underneath, wide open, no one covers Sterling Shepard. One nice thing about getting back to this series is I won't have to see me play one of these and call stick like 48 times in a row. The NCAA play calling was really not great to work with. So while I would prefer they call plays for me, I think those systems ultimately are more interesting. I didn't like uh, the lack of different plays, so this is a nice change of pace. Not get in the corner here, but here we go, Barkley, inside the five. Good returning possession. Now we try to punch this into the end zone. Quarterback draw, left side, Walker, oh, the hurdle, and can't get there. I wonder why that indicator's on there. I don't remember ever having the, the running indicators on. I'm not sure if settings have changed for me lately. Not quite sure what that was there for. But from the three yard line now, we're going to throw it. Just kidding, there's no one open. Now third down for Marquise Walker. Going to step up to buy time. And you know what, I should have thrown it to R1 in the end zone. I was kind of looking at everybody there in the mess and kind of froze for a second there. All right, good to be back. Right, everybody? 7-3 to three as we continue. Now in quarter number two, it's Barkley not getting much. Buda Baker. Get to uh, see Buda Baker now in his prime after the long career he's had in the Cardinals series. I really enjoyed doing this and the Matt Pierre series the last two Maddens. There's Odell Beckham Jr. I know that there will be some questions about my plans when it comes to Madden 20. Not really sure. You know, I don't necessarily want to do the same series every year as far as, like, always do a player base, always do, like, a franchise. Like, I do intend to do a franchise rebuild. When it comes to a, a career mode-like series, we'll have to see what I want to do because I kind of go back and forth on career mode stuff. So far, we're not seeing too much rush from the Cardinals, or at least Marquise is escaping whatever rush there is. Here's a pass to the outside. Wasn't sure if the pressure would impact that, but it didn't. 
Here's a dive up the middle, and Barkley continues to turn these minimal pickups into solid gains. Now we could look to throw it to Barkley right over the middle. Saquon Barkley down near the 35. Play action now. Marquise will roll to the right. No, he won't. There's a lot of pressure there, and I tried to throw it away. I really wish that they'd work on the throwaway animations and just focus on something quick. Don't worry about like setting feet and where it's going. Just get the ball out of there. So now a ways to go. Maybe we can get this back in field goal range at the least. They'll try to blitz Marquise. He sacked. Again, they got the pressure. That safety, the coverage overall is pretty soft. I could have definitely thrown that. All right, so just a 7-3 game as we continue on. Drive number three with a little play action. And lob it outside. Not that far outside. But I knew eventually he could beat the linebacker, but not out of bounds. All right, Saquon Barkley gets this one. Again, bouncing off first contact and picking up the first down. Saquon Barkley, still pretty good. Here's a throw over the middle, and we'll get back on track a bit. Trying to beat the two-minute warning here, and we do just in time. And Marquise looking to run with it now. Oh, he lost the ball, and the Cardinals take it. All right, getting reckless here now with Marquise Walker. Rough first half overall. So we're left with 40 seconds. We could make this work. We're not the way I've been playing here early on. It seems like some setting got reset or something to show me all those ball carrier indicators. So down to 37 seconds. Oh, we're giving this to Barkley. I'm not sure what this was, but it was a bad idea. I've kind of been afraid to throw the football in some of these plays, although I began the game like eight for eight. Well, let's take a shot downfield now. Singled up with Beckham. Oh no, that's Shepard on the left side. That's okay, we still have a whole half of football to work on figuring this out. And maybe we're not quite done here. I have not given up the idea of a possible Hail Mary. Seven seconds left. This one has to be quick for sure. Just trying to set us up here. And just enough time left. Can we give Walker the time he needs? Trips to the right, and here we go. Trying to go to the end zone. Why are they in zone defense? As we have a three on one advantage in the end zone. Almost picked off by Buda Baker, of course. I thought that every time you call the Hail Mary play, they'd go like man up three deep to defend it. Not sure why they call a zone defense right there. Anyway. 14-3, did not have a very good first half. Got some yardage, but didn't convert in the red zone. Had a bad fumble, that's incomplete. I'm guessing there has been at least one patch since I've played this series. Pretty sure there has. And Walker, gonna run with this one now. Sliding down, watch out. But let's get back to the one thing that was actually pretty reliable. Saquon Barkley running and me just getting out of the way. A cut to the right. Running through Baker. Look at the speed as he gets to the outside. Inside the 30. Barkley will take this one to the end zone. Touchdown. Signature Saquon Barkley right there. 63 yard score. That was fun. All right, the two-point try now. I want Barkley, and now I probably could get him, but I'm going to run this in with Walker, and that'll make it a three-point game. Starting this drive at the five-yard line, we go with a little run, and getting away from the linebacker, Saquon Barkley, running really well here in week one. Let's find more ways to get Saquon Barkley the football. Mullins is in the game, but not to get the football. Barkley out to the right flat. Getting a block on the outside. And breaks away again, Saquon Barkley. Nine yards. Well, that's been pretty fun to watch. Now Hines is in the game. Okay, 
Let's give Hines his first career carry. Up the middle. And getting ahead behind good blocking. It's a gain of 10. Now it's time to break out some read option. It's going to Barkley. He'll get us four more. And an illegal hit on Walker that's not flagged. Fake this one. Downfield. Got him open. It's Beckham. And Baker trying to rip it out. Fails to do so. 17-yard connection there. I want to try this play. It looks like fun, doesn't it? It's a shovel play. So we can run this one. It, okay, I tried to throw it forward. I think that that play can work. I like that we had a pulling blocker. That's why I wanted to call it. All right, now from the 26, get that out there to the right side. First down on the slant. From the 17 of Arizona, we're going to get this one nowhere, actually. Good pressure. Not sure I've really seen that animation there, the way Walker went down. Let's check that one out, as they have now sacked him four times. This one from Noah Spence. Good power. And then Walker trying to throw it, just going down instead. Normally I wouldn't like this play call here, but given Barkley's been so good, I think this ball has to go to him. That way we can play it safe, still hopefully get a field goal at the worst, and they covered it perfectly. But that should tie the game at least. Tied it is, and we take over with the same score, 14-14. Three minutes to go in the third quarter. Could look for a big play here to start the possession. From our 40. Uh-oh. Get away! I tried to throw it. I had X wide open. Noah Spence three times. Now again going backwards. Way too many sacks today. Lobbing that one out though. We get it all back and then some with Evan Ingram. Time for more inside zone. Let Barkley run, but a good hit from Trey Boston. We have a brand new fullback on the team. We've got to see how he plays. Hines is getting this one. Hines. Oh, he lost it at the end. And because we kept the ball, I don't think it'll be challenged. But it will cost us a couple yards regardless. That means the fumble will stand. And now third down and three. Nimmo to the right side. And we're going to run with Walker and get it. Got a block downfield and I need to slide, but I didn't. All right, this is going well now. We've entered the red zone again. And we throw it underneath now. Not going to hold on to the football all day on every play. All right, Barkley, he's getting this one. Sweep left, a lot of defenders in his way, nowhere to go. So again, have to not screw this up passing in the red zone. I really don't want to mess this up. I've already made a lot of really weird plays today and a lot of mistakes. So here we go, trying to not do that again. It's caught by Barkley, juking his way inside the five for 12 yards. Saquon Barkley has essentially saved this game. Dylan Hines is our fullback who has 80 speed. He's a really good athlete here at the position. And he's got 80 carrying. He can catch the football. He can run short routes. He's actually getting the third down running back snaps when Barkley needs a rest. So we're not going to see Harrington like at all at that rate. Our fullback is going to play meaningful snaps, including this next one on first and goal. He's getting it here in the red zone, and he's gonna run it to the left. Hines powering ahead down inside the two. Go on, go on. Go on, go on. Goal to go from the one. Play action now. Obeka went out of bounds, can't throw it his way, and they come down to tackle Walker. Could have gone the triangle there as the defender backed off. All right, can we make this work, please? Third down and goal. Swing out. Barkley. Gotta make one man miss. That's not gonna happen. Pretty sloppy return here in the Marquise Walker series. I'm aware. Got the field goal, though, so we're in front. No thanks to me, anyway. It's all the Saquon Barkley show today. 
But now Arizona has answered with a field goal of their own. And we've still got to play more offense. And we've got to get more points. So here we go. Starting out looking like option now. And it's going to be Le'Veon Mullins. He's got blockers in the second level. Breaks a tackle. And is brought down after a first down run. 17 all inside five minutes. And we're going underneath now. Catch made by Shepard for a short pickup. Can't believe I haven't thrown a pick today. Four receivers now. Extra speed on the field. And they're going to bring some pressure. Time to go deep now. Looking for Nemo. Picked off. Come on. Nikel Roby Coleman. I thought we had the advantage down there. It looked like he had a half step. And Coleman's able to leap and make the catch. I didn't think that was actually a risk. I thought he had a good step. And yes, I'm aware I said I can't believe I haven't thrown a pick. I didn't think I actually would the next play because I thought I was making the right choice, but guess not. 17 all, 235 left, and now from inside our five yard line. I don't like this play, it's never blocked well, so I have to call one of these instead. It's Beckham getting seven. Second down now, needing three. Again, we just check it down. If they don't want to cover Barkley, then they're going to be forced to tackle him. That's eight catches now on the day for Saquon Barkley. Close to a couple hundred all-purpose. And again to the air and over the middle through the hands of Shepard. Less than two minutes to go. Beckham's got a couple steps and he's out of bounds with this one. Getting out to the 45-yard line. He's over the century mark receiving. Could look Beckham's way again. Actually, that corner played deep. We'll throw it short and pick up a safe chunk of yards there. Good possession here. Now it's Barkley. And trying to get past the defender. Wow, what a play by Roby Coleman. If we fail here, we are definitely going for it. We need this. Run this, Barkley. And yes, he's still going. Face mask. Wow. From the 24, Barkley doesn't want the field goal. He'll take it down to around the 10. Mullins checks in now. Barkley gets a rest. Mullins on the carry. Right through the middle. Three more. We'll run this again. Second down. Barkley. He's in for the touchdown. And the Giants take the lead. Leaving time for the Cardinals to respond. But now we have our advantage. What a day for Saquon Barkley. Now just don't mess it up. It's that simple. Josh Rosen, less than 50 seconds. 27 left. Gets a first and the game is over. Giants win in week one. But of course, there was a lot of drama in there. I had some really bad plays. Definitely hesitated on too many throws. I either had like really good ideas on offense or really bad. But my best idea was to give the ball to number 26, Saquon Barkley. No touchdowns today for Walker. There was the lone interception on a play that I still think wasn't the worst idea. Saquon Barkley, two scores on the ground, a buck 44, throw in 54 receiving on eight catches. Not bad. And we got our fullback involved as a running back today. It was a pretty fun episode. I know a lot of you really enjoyed this series. I hope you're excited to have it back now. And it is one of these smaller series that I can use to help bridge the gap between some of the Surf and Cardinals videos. So you'll probably see content overall on this channel pick up, especially with this being back. But it was fun to get back to Marquise Walker action today. Hopefully he can play a little bit better next time. But well, that is going to do it for this episode, everybody. Thank you for watching. Hope you had a good time. Please leave a like if you did and subscribe to the channel. And let me know what you think of the return of Marquise Walker. Have a great day, everybody. See you next time.